Guys, let's go to Christophe in France. Christophe, welcome to your show, my friend. Uh, hello, Cold Bob, Eric, Kowasim, and Alexi. Oh, hello. How's it going, man? Uh, thank you for welcoming uh, your fan, including myself, each week uh, in this beautiful radio show. It's a pleasure, monsieur, and I appreciate everything you say. You're so complimentary. You're a wonderful friend, and God bless you. Oh, thank you. I have still pleasure and emotion to speak with you, Liv. Uh, this is a wonderful rendezvous that I don't want to miss. Merci. Uh, today I have prepared uh, two little questions. First, um, I know that your friendship is important for you. Um, you have been uh, faithful in friendship throughout your career and your life. But uh, remember you, your first friend that you had uh, in your youth. Can you tell us about uh, a few words about? Yeah, who's your childhood best friend? Uh, Peter Kantos. And tell us about you him. Had, uh, we enlisted in the Marine Corps together when I was 15 and he was 18. Okay. And we went down to uh, take a train into a boot camp. And my name was called out. And I looked at uh, Peter. I said, see, that's what I like about the Marines. They, they recognize the leadership quality. And I went over there. And I said, yes, sir. And he said, you're going home, Conrad. And I said, why is that? He said, because you are your 15. Mm. I said, whoa. Busted. He said, come back in two and a half years and we can do this again. I said, whoa. I said, no, sir, I'm not. Uh, he said, forget it. We did all the research on it. You're out of here. So I went over to Peter. I gave him a hug. We over uh, hugging each other and crying. Wow. And Peter, you know, of course, went off uh, to serve, didn't he? Yeah, two Marines hugging and, and crying. And then uh, he got out of boot camp and he came to see me up uh, when I was now moved to a northern uh, – uh, Illinois, no, northern actually Chicago, and um, we went out and partied, and then he went back, and uh, he went to Korea, and uh, he uh, uh, died in Korea. Wow, that's amazing. Oh, that, that, that was Thank the end. That, 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 that was the end of uh, Peter. He, he he sacrificed his life for the Marines in America. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah. Okay, thank you for the service, Uncle Bob. Uh, for my second question, um, you are an actor with a lot of experiences, and uh, you have man managed uh, to last in time. Uh, haven't you ever, ever think to share your knowledge uh, by uh, giving teaching to young actors? Oh, there you go. Well, you know, it's ironic that you mentioned that too, Christoph, because I just noticed that Kevin Spacey is doing a master class. I mean, that's something that you could definitely be doing, is showing these young actors a thing or two. Kevin Spacey. I met him. At the front of my house, okay. um, it was a gated community in a place called Evanston, Illinois. And he was uh, there. And my wife said, uh, this guy keeps lurking. He keeps sitting out in front of the gate. I said, I'll go down there and find out what's going on. I said, yo, can I help you? And he said, oh, yes, Mr. Conrad. Um, I'm in a play in school, and I'm a senior. And uh, I'd, I wonder if you could come and see me. And I said, well, we'll see. And I went up there, and I said, he's an actor. He's a young high school kid. And it came time, and I said, let's go see this kid, see what he's worth. And we went, and he was very talented. I introduced myself backstage, and we became friends. He moved to New York, and he was, you know, like a typical New York actor looking for work. And then he became, uh, I think he won the Academy Award. I'm not sure. He did, yeah. He sure yeah. did. We yeah. became friends, yeah. and I haven't spoken to him. I think he did this show once. I don't remember. He did do the show with us. That's one of the legendary uh, episodes that we did do uh, with Mr. Kevin Spacey. That's correct. Why is it yeah. legendary? Well, it's just, just a great show. You guys well, spent the whole hour talking to him. Just an actor. You guys, you're so humble, Mr. Kevin. <laughs> so humble. I don't know what else to tell you, you know. It's not that we pray to him on Sundays. It's just an actor. <laughs> um, okay, uh, Christoph, any other questions for Bob before we get out of here? Yes, uh, uh, last question. Um, I just want to know if uh, you follow the young generation of actors on which young actor you seem to have potential to, to make a, a great and beautiful career like you. Well, we'll find out after the break, Bob. The question is, uh, young actors, are you following any of the careers of the young actors? Who's making an impression on you? And we're going to find out the answer to that when we come back right here on the PM Show. That's what you think. <laughs> I'll be back. France, Christoph, the question was posed. Uh, to you, Mr. Conrad, uh, young actors, up and coming actors, kind of current uh, actors, anybody that you're following, anybody that's catching your eye. A current young actors, current young actor, younger actors, yeah. younger actors that yeah. I see and I go, wow, yeah. yeah, he's good, yeah, like Shia LaBeouf. Who? How do you feel about Shia LaBeouf? 
Who? I, I just threw it out there. I'm just, just trying. Just trying. You like that? I go, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I just I figure I'd give it a shot. Yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so so I guess I guess the we have our answer there, Christoph. Yeah, Christoph, if I meet an actor that influences me to the point where I go, wow, I will probably faint and then call you. <laughs> You'll be the first to know. Christoph, you there, my friend? Yes, I, I understand. Okay, so yeah, so apparently, uh, the, other than Shane Conrad, yeah, not too many. Shane is the best. Okay. Yeah. Shane Conrad. Okay. The Shane list is Conrad. Short. Shane Conrad. Okay. Okay, Uncle Bob. That's it for my phone call. Uh, thank you once again. I reiterate my, you my admiration on all those people who love you can uh, do like me by calling 818 353 1276. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely. See, Thank this you. is the becoming the show I always wanted. Absolutely, my friend. No, seriously. Look at me, little girl. I always wanted a show where the people could participate and have the show that they wanted. And you know what? I believe that's happening. I think you did it. I think you pulled it off. I think yeah. we did it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Why do you always give me all the credit for everything? <laughs> well, you're pretty powerful there, sir. You're you think like so? A, I'm like a powerful. Jedi. <laughs> a Jedi. All right. A Jedi, I think so. <laughs> Uh, guys, don't forget, give us a call, 818-353-1276. Thank you again to Christoph for calling in. Thanks so much, my friend. Thank you, Uncle Bob. Have a good show. Uh, take a uh, good time with your family. Uh, God bless you. Next week, uh, au revoir, mes amis. Au revoir, au revoir, monsieur, and thank you. You know, one of the things that amazes me more than anything... Yes, sir. ...is I drive around the northern or part of... Uh, well, the southern part of California, but parts of it that... Uh, and I see... Uh, the name all the time and I see it on streets I see it on everything you can imagine and then it reminds me of every Friday night in Jason's restaurant this man had a radio show uh, a TV show rather and I had a TV show and we would meet and we would have a couple of cocktails two or three and chat and it's the wonderful story where I'm going to run for governor. And I laughed and I said, well, oh, I'm going to run for king. I think I, I, I kind of know, know this but story. you said you have much chance.